I'm Joseph here with Richmond assistant Dion Cox. Talk to me about tonight's victory. Like personally, I thought that this was your most complete victory of the season, just because it wasn't just about offense, but it was about defense too, and all the different looks that you guys gave them. Well, this week was different. Um, we had a full week of practice. Um, I think we spent 85% of the time working on defense compared to working on offense, and obviously it showed. They scored five points in the third, in the third quarter, which is crazy. They probably had 13 turnovers in the first six minutes, which is, that's, that's hard to come by. So we was locked in from the beginning. Um, obviously going up there and losing to them, I don't want to say revenge, but you know, we just wanted to make sure we don't, that don't happen again. Uh, it's the most important thing to these kids is winning. They, they want to win. They want to they wanna make the coaching staff happy. Um, we, we've been conditioning in practice for the last probably three weeks. We've been going hard. And um, it's starting to show that they're willing to give up everything just to win that one possession. Mm -hmm. Not worried about the game, just that one possession. Mm -hmm. it, it just started at practice. It was real good. That's what we should have been doing from the start when we first played them. Talk to me just about how your defensive traps really got you into an offensive flow. Because every time you guys caused a turnover, it really led to a layup or a basket on the other end. Well, that's the whole point of defense. Me, me being from Detroit, um, play for a defensive minded coach we had two plays <laughs> so I never really focused on offense it was all defense growing up in the 90s watching you and LV and uh, how the way it is to trap and trap and trap and trap and trap and when you trap obviously it's a gamble but for the most part it would turn into offense so we just said hey we we gonna go out and just trap and, and see what happens and just get ready for the next game so what does it do for your confidence when you see that you guys are creating so many turnovers? I don't know the official numbers, but I'm guessing you guys forced 20 turnovers tonight. Yeah, we we did bad on the turnovers, but we just kept playing. It helped us out. Coach got us right. You guys are the BYU champs, and you guys are so used to winning and being in these key games. How much is this coming involved in these situations now where you guys have been in big games for years now, so this is nothing new to you? No, and we've been fortunate enough to where we've had young kids playing big games, mm -hmm. so it keeps on carrying on. I mean, we had a freshman point guard play tonight. You mm -hmm. talked to him, Daquan. Um, Davion's played in big games as a freshman. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just we have that leadership. Connor Cracciolo is another kid that's played, and so is Swagger, Justin Swagger. We, we try to bring him up early and let him get a taste of it. Mm -hmm. That way it's a, it's a smooth transition. And talk to me about your effort tonight, man. It all started on defense, and it really translated into the offensive end. Yeah, I was just trying to be more aggressive to get more on the court and stuff. How much did it motivate you guys, the first loss against Armada, man? It seemed like you guys really came out here motivated, and it really showed in just the way that you guys were really playing throughout the game. We didn't want to lose to them anymore, and if we lost, we couldn't win BWAC. Is it really motivating you guys, the fact that you're getting further along in the season now and that you guys really have a chance to do something special and really build from here? Yes, our chemistry is getting a lot better. So what's going to be the key for you guys going forward from now? To just play defense, hustle, get back on defense, and make shots. So talk to me about the next matchup, Croswell-Lexington. Obviously, that's another matchup that's going to be key for you guys in the overall BWAC race. We just got to keep them to one shot, crash the boards, and just get out in transition. We just got to do what we did tonight and play as a team, and we get them. Well, the next step is obviously cross that. It's a really good team. Um, I think we totally different from that. Um, we're coming together. Um, Marcus is out, but Kwan as a freshman is stepping in really good. Uh, we just gel it now. I mean, it's, we know that a limited time with each other is limited. We probably a month away, and after that is we can win or go home. So we just we don't want to go home. We 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 playing like it's playoff basketball right now, and, and this is a good thing. Um, best team in the BWAC, probably one of the best teams the BWAC seen for the last ten years. Um, they've got size, they can shoot. Um, we, have to, we have to play our best to beat them. Mm -hmm. Are you guys going to feel similar motivation like you did tonight? I could tell that you guys were really motivated to get a revenge game. What is it going to be the mindset going against them when they've beat you once so far? We just got to play us, play as a team. Got to, they got us the first time. They're a good team. We just got to get them back. That was Davion Henderson. I'm Joseph Hayes for Blue Water Healthy Living. And I want to make sure I thank GBS Media for the production of this video and also the Grant Smith Health Insurance Agency for sponsoring it.